you will need suction, intubation equipment, an ET tube stabilizing device, a large bore OG tube, 36 to 40 French in adult, 24 to 28 French in kids. An NG tube can be used with liquid ingestions, but otherwise is not large enough. Go big or go home. For the patient's sake, have a jelly lubricant for the OG tube. Lavaging fluid. In adults, use either warm normal saline or warm water. In children, use warm normal saline, since there are case reports of hyponatremia occurring when children were gastric lavaged with water. And finally, 50 grams of activated charcoal. Now that we have our equipment ready, meet Stan, our friendly simulation patient. Stan is presenting to the ER after taking a large dose of Rapamil in a self-harm attempt. Now Stan is awake and alert, so I don't need to manage his airway. But if he was sedated, or if I expected the drug that he took was going to sedate him soon, for example, tricyclic antidepressants, then I would go ahead and protect his airway by intubating. So step one is make sure the airway is secure. Aspiration is the most common complication of gastric lavage. So don't use it for sedated patients or patients who have lost their airway reflexes unless you intubate them first. Step 2. If desired, place an ET tube stabilizing device to keep the mouth of a non-compliant patient open. Step 3. Measure out the length of OG tube you need to reach the stomach and lubricate the tube with hydroxycellulose jelly. Step 4. Position the patient. In general, it is recommended to place the patient in the left lateral head down position in order to maximize gastric emptying. However, the upright position may be required in some circumstances, for example, the restrained patient. Avoid the supine position, since this will place the patient at the greatest risk of aspiration. Step five, pass the tube gently into the esophagus. There are cases of esophageal perforation from OG tube placement, so don't get too aggressive. Step six, verify tube placement with insufflation. You do not want to fill the patient's lungs with fluid. Step 7. Aspirate the gastric contents. Step 8. Gently infuse 200 to 300 milliliter aliquots of warm water or warm normal saline. In children, use 10 milliliters per kilogram of warm normal saline. Aspirate the fluid back out. Do not irrigate with force. You do not want to push the drug into the small bowel where more absorption of the drug will occur. Some toxicologists advocate administering activated charcoal prior to lavage so that any drug that passes into the small bowel will be absorbed to the charcoal, but there's little evidence to support this practice. Repeat this process of 200 to 300 milliliters in, 200 to 300 milliliters out, until the fluid you are aspirating is clear of particulate matter. Step 9. Administer 50 grams of activated charcoal slurry through the OG tube. In children, the dose is 0.5 to 1 gram per kilogram. Step 10, pull the tube back out and you are done.